Okay, so welcome back. And now we're going to talk about integrals involving exponential and logarithmic functions. Okay, so here's rule number one. Um, so now, the first, so it says exponential functions can be integrated using the following formulas. This will work for any exponential function. Uh, this is specific to the natural exponential function e to the x. So as we've seen before, the integral, the derivative of e to the x is just e to the x, right? The antiderivative of e to the x is the e to the x plus c. So the integral of e to the x dx is always going to be e to the x plus c. Okay, remember, it's going the other direction as opposed to uh, the opposite direction of differentiation. Okay, now this is the more general. Now this will also work for e to the x because in the most general case of any base, e to the x dx, the integral of that is going to be a to the x, so it's going to be the same, a to the x, but then you're going to divide by the natural log of a. Okay? Um, now, um, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to say more than that. So, so a to the x, because you could have a function in the exponent, but that would involve the chain rule, which we'll, we'll talk about later. But, um, so this is the general rule. a to the x dx is going to be equal to a to the x, the integral of a to the x dx is going to be a to the x divided by the natural log of a plus c. Now, this also works for e to the x because the natural log of e is 1. So this just becomes 1, so you still get e to the x. So this general uh, formula works even for e to the x, but again, specific for e to the x, it's just this. Okay? And that's it. Have a great day.